Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the vlog. I'm feeling so much better after resting for a week. <sighs> I didn't have any vlogs. I'm so sorry. I just, I needed, I, I didn't know why I was getting tired. And then when I came down with the head cold, I was like, oh, that's why. I was like, the pregnancy and being like, you know, a little bit sick. It wasn't bad at all. And I'm over it. But I was like, <sighs> just it just killed my energy it is the long beach flea market today i don't know particularly what we're looking for right now um it is going to be overcast until like 10 so we're getting an early start it's about seven right now it's gonna go see what we can find are you looking for anything babe no <laughs> we're just going to have fun i'm not going to walk around too much i'm going to take take it easy um because if i walk around too too much I get restless leg in my in my right leg. My mom said it might be a nerve, you know, because he's getting heavier. Take it easy, but I just I'm just, I like staying active, so I want to go walk around. Okay, we stopped by Alfred first to get some coffee um, and a little pastry to hold me over for a little bit before we eat lunch. We've elected not to bring the cart. I think I did it strategically because every time I don't bring the cart, I find something really cool. <laughs> Knock on wood. The main reason we don't bring the cart is because I have to twist to pull it so he pulls it the majority of the time but you know we kind of trade off and if he stops to look at something maybe I'm gonna go down a little bit and it's just it gets so obnoxious especially when there's a lot of people when you're trying to maneuver you're trying to like weave the cart through and through I don't feel like I want to stress with that today but we may find something cool and Romeo's just gonna <laughs> haul it to the to the cart It's like iron, like cast iron. I wish we had more like shelves for him. Like you could build one. Huh. You want it? Yeah, those are the orchids, huh? that's Heisen, the, the maker, Heisen, one of the best from the depression grass, yeah. one of the best quality. I love that platter that we found. I've been looking for platters for, I think I've said this before, like for the holidays. I felt like we didn't really have enough serving wear. So I had these like etched plastic ones that we've been kind of like reusing that we just got at the dollar store. And I'm like, I kind of want something nicer than that, especially now that we're going to have like kitchen storage for them. <laughs> still have to find a light, a pretty light. Oh, this is pretty. Pretty light to go over the sink. I hate to break up a set, you know, like. Once you get, find a, um, uh, Yeah. 
Next month I bring on one. This is absolutely stunning. Like all the detail and the oh, it's gorgeous. I have no place for it, but it is beautiful. Oh, even the stone is gorgeous. Yeah. A lot of frames. Look at this turtle. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. You know what I got from her? Is the thinking man. Oh, really? Yeah. I like the thinking man. Yeah, me too. So right when we came in, we saw this like cast iron rocket piggy bank. And we walked away. It was $40, I think. We walked away. I don't have any like shelves in the baby's room. You know, it's pretty cute. Ask him how much. Yeah, oh Mr. Peanut is cool. Yeah, it's all cast iron from the 1960s. He just has like cool little things. We got it. It was marked 45. You know, the, our, Romeo offered it 40. I just thought it was so neat. It says the moon. Like, yeah. I've just never seen something like it. It's from, it says it's from the 1950s. Looks it. It's like cast iron. We never be able to get it out. No, we would never be able to break it to get money out. So we need to like hot glue it shut or something so he doesn't start putting valuables in I'll it. put a quarter in there for good luck. Well, we have a lot of sweatshirts. It's too hot, but I'm just gonna wait till uh looks yeah, but see. they're nice. We're gonna go to Disneyland. This one I'll tell you. <gasps> well it's a good color. It's for, for me? You. Yeah. Ah! Thank you. So, You're so kind. In the fall, it's gonna we're be nice. we're definitely missing Disneyland. Because uh, we haven't been in so long. How about two things? I'll show you. Well, I just showed you one. Hello guys, it's the next day and I got sunburned at the flea market. Look at that. Just right there and on my shoulders because I took off the sweater and it was overcast. That's the sneakiest, sneakiest kind of sun for sure. Bought two things at the flea market. Two, we're about to go get some lunch right now and run some errands because I want to do some things today. Um, two things at the flea market. I got this little guy. I've never seen something like this. And we don't know if it exactly goes with his room, but it is on theme. We don't really have any shelves in his room, but who cares? It was just so cool. It's heavy. Look how cute that is. The moon, it says the moon on one side, and then it says moon ZX minus one. Am I supposed to remember what that means? I don't I don't know what that means if I'm supposed to. But it is a piggy bank, but you would never be able to get into, into it. How would you break iron? Like, you'd have to cut, like, someone with a, well, my dad would have to, like, cut into it and stuff. Got that. I also got this pretty platter. Because we needed some platters. After the holidays, I realized I didn't really have much. Um, I told you guys, but this one was so beautiful. She gave it to me for $20. It was marked 30. And look at the, look at the flower etching on it and the swirl and then even the little, little bubbles. I have some glasses that have some little bubbles on the bottoms that are so pretty that I'll show you when we get back. But I was like, this is just like so pretty. We could do anything with it. It's a good serving platter. That's it. You got some stuff though. Yeah, I got some stuff. It was still fun to go walk around and it was really nice outside because it was overcast. So we're going to go run um, to get something to eat first. And then we're going to go to the hardware store uh, because I want to get a small table. I'm, I'm, in that little, I'm in that nesting phase and I want everything like built and complete and done and ready. And I just feel like we're getting closer and closer and closer to the baby being born. And after going the last update, like going to see like the cabinets and everything, they are coming this week. But I just like, I don't have, I don't know, he could come any day and I don't have a lot of, like what if he comes tomorrow? We don't have a kitchen, you know? So I want to set up like his like sterilizer. I'm so glad we bought the things that we bought now because it doesn't require us to have a sink. So I want to set up some things. I want to get like one of those smaller fold out tables for our makeshift kitchen. I also need to get some appli appliance paint. I can't say that, appliance paint, because uh, we're gonna be painting our dishwasher to go into the kitchen. So I want everything like that ready to go. And then run by the grocery store. So we're gonna do some errands, we'll come back and we'll do some 
nasty things. Okay, I hope they have the appliance in spray paint. Because that would be ideal. Oh, I thought that said appliance. Oh, it does say appliance. Let's see, epoxy enamel. Gloss black. I wonder how much I'm going to need. Okay, so I got two. What I'm painting is the front of the dishwasher. Which is not a big surface, obviously. But I feel like two coats is better or something. You know, like, just make sure it's not streaky. It looks like factory finish. Because that's what this stuff does. Smooth factory-like finish. Washable and moisture resistant. Ultra hard coating in gloss black. Have I ever done this before? No. <laughs> but what's new? And also, we're going to paint the feet on the bottom of the oven. Our oven is gloss black. That's why I'm doing gloss black. Because I just feel like we need to attempt to save our dishwasher. It's great shape. And you can you can paint. You could do black, white. There was like black, white over there. But I think that you could do any color, really. Just with the right paint. Yeah, we can get a black one. Yeah, it's the four-footer. It's like a small half version. I think it's a four-footer. Yeah, let's get black so it kind of disappears. You think that'll disappear or like gray Wait, and white? It's a mini one, right? Yeah. yeah. I know, isn't it like the, a good size for us to have like a surface? Yeah, I'll use it for the market too. Black's better, yeah? Yeah. Okay, we made it back and we got this two by four table, essentially. It's like a smaller version of the fold-out tables that I use for my projects and stuff. Because I was like, we lack surface space. Like, if you guys remember, I had to do a charcuterie board on, not that I'm gonna be making <laughs> another one of those, but I had to do the charcuterie board on the coffee table and I had to keep getting up to wash my hands and do all that. And then, we don't have, like, I'm gonna start drinking raspberry leaf tea, like, in prep for the baby and stuff. And I'm like, we well, need to heat up water. Like, not having a kitchen makes you th have to think about things so differently, you know? So I ordered this, like, electric kettle, but there's nowhere to put it. <laughs> we have no surface. Like, it's all just storage. We just put it here because we had to get everything out of the kitchen. So I thought instead of just having this, like, storage like stuff all on the floor putting it underneath the table and having a surface go across flat made sense then we would have a surface so that we could actually use it and i can put the baby stuff because i have a few things that i'd like to put there and we're gonna do it so first step i need to organize this stuff and try and figure out where the legs are gonna sit so that i can kind of re I need to rearrange a little bit let's do a little time lapse <laughs> She put a mind to late night hours up the hill. Yeah. Serving coffee to strangers. Talk about it. She kept dreaming of a world big enough for everyone. She knew it must rain before it grows. She kept dreaming of the day. Butterflies so by the wheel. Even though she could not down. Show. There's no way to make this random kitchen look good. <laughs> like truly. We're trying to make it as functional as possible while we don't have a kitchen, right? But this, you can't tell me that this does, is not better than just having like storage here. So everything that we had here originally is still underneath, but now we have a surface on top. So I feel like it's gonna be more useful. And we have a few, I'm gonna start with the baby things because that was kind of like where my stress was coming from. I wanted the, the Brezza and stuff out, so let's go get those. I've organized this closet a couple of times because, you know, continuing to get baby stuff and we needed to, you know, figure out what kind of solutions we needed. Um, and so most of it is, it's, it's pretty good. This, I'm gonna be working on the nursery, adding a few things to it this week too, and I wanna add this mobile and this is his tummy time thing so we've got some things in here that 
I don't quite need yet that I just need it out of the way. The kitchen things are in here. I need to get like vacuum sealers or something like for the pillows. It's just like, ugh, what do I do with these? This is first thing, bottles. I took them out of their packaging, um, their boxes, you know, when I organized them like this. So I could just put that on the, on the table we just made. This is number two, the bottle warmer. Need that. And the cleaner, the Brezza cleaner. Bottle Washer Pro. Now this was the one that did like, it washes, sterilizes, and dries. When we put it on the registry, I was like, I feel like it's overkill. Like, do we really need that? But I was like, it wasn't, the price difference wasn't that different and it also washed them like with detergent pods, safe detergent pods. And <laughs> I'm so glad we did it now because we don't have a sink. Like it was almost like my past self was preparing for this moment, just in case we didn't have the kitchen. They come with little detergent tablets. 30 tablets, so that's like 30 washes, right? Probably like a month's worth. Let me take you dancing. Let me get you on your feet Arizona garden With my little cactus flower Let the day slip away In the golden hour We've got nothing But time And a sweet cold drink In the heat Oh I'll be morning i had an early morning appointment my 36 week baby appointment they're happening every week now she checked him out made sure that his head was down but he is still very comfortable he is not coming <laughs> soon um so he's he's still he's still cooking still gaining his little baby weight on the way back i just um i pulled up at world market get a few props i'm doing some like fun photo shoots for the candles and stuff and um i want to get a few like summer props i'm gonna get like some cute linen napkins So pretty and also i saw on tiktok that they had like dupes of the anthropology little glasses that i like think are so cute with the little bees or hearts or lemons they do have them they have mushrooms and flowers and the pineapples but i want like lemons or something i will say they don't feel quite as good quality as the anthropology ones so i actually got something we kind of needed we did need we were thinking we wanted to get uh from world market and didn't even plan on it we got another canopy so that we can shade this area right here and then a new topper for the other one that we already had and they were on sale Pretty it is like gold. I love the brass better than the other one was just plastic. I think I got that at Target. We've had that since we did the very first patio makeover at the apartment when I built my first chairs and stuff. We've had that one. The canopy didn't fit that pole. So that pole, we're gonna clean the, the canopy we had and use it in the front, on the front patio, so we can have it out there. And then I'm gonna get another one another pole like this for out here so they match these need to match and then we can use the other one 
so I need to go get another pole and a stand. <laughs> I didn't get a stand. Well, we already had this one, but that looks really cute. They have they have really cute ones. If you've ever loved those like boho tassely canopies at World Market or if around a pool, they had them right now. Like this is like the time of year to buy them, obviously. Um, has that like that boho vibe. I like the stripe because I feel like it, it matches our house more, but so cute still. 